Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And I have the Android P beta program installed on my Pixel 2 XL, and I wanna go ahead and do a full overview on everything new coming to the new Android OS. With that being said, a lot of new coverage coming on the new Android OS and the new iOS that comes out very soon, so make sure you are subscribed so you're notified of the new videos. But let's go ahead and get into the full video on the Android P beta. To begin, I do have my Pixel 2 XL right here with the Android P beta installed, swiping down. There it is, Android beta program. I'll link to how you can register for it if you'd like to try it out. And yes, there is still that Android P Easter egg. No idea what it's going to be called. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Pineapple peppermint are my two best guesses. But if you have a better guess or agree with me, drop a comment, let me know. Now there's a complete overhaul to system navigation. You'll see I still have the back home and recent apps buttons. However, that is changing. Uh, you do still have the option to activate the back home and recent apps. You still swipe up to get to your app drawer. However, if you press the recent apps button, you'll see a card style view to your recent apps. You uh, suggest that apps towards the bottom, swipe up again to get to your app drawer. Now I wanna jump back into settings and you go into system gestures and swipe up on home button is where that new option is. So here's where the navigation changes. I do have an in-depth video on this showing up close, a bunch of different things. So I'll link to that down below if you wanna see more in-depth to this home button. But if, but if you swipe up, you get to that card style I showed earlier, same menu with suggested apps, you could swipe up again to get to that app drawer, tap on it to go back home. You'll also notice uh, if I swipe up and go into an app, a back button will appear if there's an option to go back within that specific screen. Uh, you might be wondering, hey, what about multitasking? Where did that go? Uh, you just press and hold the icon up at the top of whatever app you wanna uh, split screen and you'll see split screen option does pop up for you. No doubt worth mentioning on these cards, you can actually swipe up on apps to get rid of them. And also there is a swipe right gesture. So if you press and, or if you hold down the right gesture, you can swap quickly between cards, whichever one you let go on is the app that actually opens. Also a quick gesture to multitask, you quick swap to the right and you can quickly go between multiple apps at the same time with just that quick pull on the home button to the right. There's also an updated look to those pop-up notifications and a new animation. So I'm going to send a message and there is that animation. It pops up. You can quick reply and tap on it, a swipe up, swipe left or right, or you can pull down that navigation button, navigation tray, and you'll see you can do a quick reply. We'll also have preset message options where you can just tap it. I might say hi back or anything like that. It'll actually evolve as time goes on. The volume rocker's got an overhaul here and pressing the volume buttons will actually change the media volume, which is kind of nice. I actually am glad they added that. You could tap on this icon to go to silent or have ringer on or go back to vibrate. Also, if ringer is on and let's say maybe you're in an app or something like that. So if I load up an app and I press volume up and the power button at the same time, it will actually automatically switch to vibrate. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but up in the right hand corner, or if I press this button, there is that vibrate. Uh, let's press it again. You'll see it quickly swaps to that vibrate option. And I can do it with one hand, just volume up and power button. The do not disturb mode is a little bit different. You tap on it and you'll see you can block sounds and visuals. So block when the screen is off, block when the screen is on. I'm gonna hit okay. You can customize that, but you'll notice uh, my notifications are now gone. I did have a message notification that disappeared. Uh, my calendar one seemed to have stayed because it sees that as a more important notification. If I turn it off, you'll see my message notification actually pops right back up. You can really customize it with visual disturbances, exceptions, the duration, and you can also have it turn on automatically. Also within that card view, you can actually select text from an app. So you see I press and held on this text. I can search, copy, or share. If I hit copy, I could swipe over to maybe another app, press and hold, and potentially paste on it. It doesn't work as it should right now, but that is coming. If you have auto rotate turned off, a really convenient feature is if you have it horizontally, you'll see this icon pop up, where if you tap it, it will go ahead and rotate for you and stay in that orientation. So now if I go ahead and go vertically, it pops up once more and I tap on it. This is great maybe if you're in bed, something like that and you don't necessarily want it to go horizontally, a nice little addition to the OS. Something else that got updated is the adaptive brightness. It will actually go ahead and remember your preferences based on certain situations and continue to adapt and be better. There's also been some battery tweaks, including adaptive battery, 
which will limit battery for apps that you don't use often. So this will hopefully extend battery life. A nice little animation there just makes it look more clean. Hopefully this makes battery life even better. You also have various animations throughout the OS. You'll see here, even just opening up specific settings, just looks different. Going home is different. That app just kind of floating away. If I go ahead and open up an app, and go back home, just a little bit of a different animation. Swiping through your cards is a little different. Uh, so yeah, just an overall, big overall, even aesthetically, this whole menu, this quick settings menu is a little bit different. App actions and slices is something coming to Android P. It's not on there yet, but for example, if you go into your app drawer and you're looking for maybe the Lyft app, it might say, hey, call a car to my location instantly. Or maybe if you plug in headphones, an option to open up Spotify might pop up. So there's a bunch of different options with slices and give you snippets of information, maybe in a Google search, a Google Assistant search. So a lot coming for that. So overall, that's it for now with the Android P beta program. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Be sure to follow on various social media accounts, all links down in the description of the video below. And of course, guess what you think Android P is going to be. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.